What's up YouTube? It's your boy Jake here, aka Brush Strokes. Today I'm gonna show you how I strip tins and get them ready for paint. So first things first, I just take some 80 grit sandpaper on an interface pad and we're just gonna go hit this whole thing. I started it a little bit. Let's see, you can see there. So let's go ahead, get the sand. <laughs> All right, we got her sanded. Doesn't have to be perfect, just needs to be scuffed up uh, because we're gonna be using the Ultra Aircraft paint remover. Go ahead and blow this off. All right, moving on. Next step, aircraft ultra paint remover. This stuff actually works and it works really good. So show you what I do. You want some saran wrap or cling and seal, whatever you want to call it. I use a Bondo scraper and we're just going to spread this stuff on. So I like to just glop some on like that. I can just start spreading it. Nice. You don't want it like super thick. But you don't want it super thin either. You want to just like a nice even coat on it. Seems to work the best. I've never used this stuff on a sticker, so we'll see how, or decal, whatever you want to call it. So we'll see how that works. Getting low. I think I got another gallon. Cause the back fender to this bike is huge. And it's just like this one. I like to just pour this stuff right onto the spreader and I can just let gravity kind of feed it off of it. Sorry if my hands go out of the camera. A lot of people have been leaving comments that you can't see what I'm doing. 
Well, I got a new phone now and a wide angle camera, so should be able to see almost everything I'm doing, hopefully. People won't be leaving comments complaining. All right, we got her pretty much covered pretty decent for the first round. Definitely want to wear gloves when doing this outside. This stuff stinks so bad. I should be wearing a mask right now, actually, but can't talk very well with one on. So now we are going to wrap this thing. Get it up around this edge, just because this stuff is kind of heavy, it does sag, so. There we go. Now we'll just let this sit. Typically, I wait 30 to 45 minutes or so. I'm not sure what the can says, but that's usually good. Here's the tank from that. We'll just go ahead and show you what this one's ready. You can see all that. Oops. You can see all that paint, how it's wrinkled under there. Most of it's all coming off. A lot of it, that red has turned orange. Because there's white paint or white primer under there. So those two mixed. So we'll just go ahead to the next part. After you let these sit, next thing you're going to want to do, if you got a tank, definitely want to tape off all your holes. But I just come over to the hose. I'm just washing my hands off. And then I spray it off. You wanna do this step because you don't wanna be touching that stuff. You wanna rinse it all off, get it all rinsed off the tank. Or whatever part you're doing. I definitely need to invest in a power washer. All right, and there you go. Typically what I would do next, I take a plastic razor blade and try to scrape as much of this off as I can. Um, and then I would hit it again with 80 grit just to roughen it up so that the that the paint remover can get down inside of there and actually do some work so but yeah you just do that over and over till the paint's gone so we'll get this one out the sun you can already see some of it's some of it's already starting to wrinkle up it's kind of cool to watch too so if you're bored kick back relax and watch um then once i get most of the paint off with that stuff i'll just use a paint removal little disc 
um, and go around and get the rest of the paint and clean it up or you can use you know 80 grit sandpaper um, because before we paint this we're going to scuff it all with 80 grit uh, to get it ready for paint primer bondo body work so yeah so that's it for this video hope you learned something here's my nice little setup so until the next one keep those brushes stroking